What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome to today's episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. We have been on Tutorial Tuesdays for a while now. <laughs> but yeah, welcome, guys. And today we're going to be talking about Capture One. I, I, Capture One is my favorite software. You already know this. So um, we're going to be discussing, you know, 10 shortcuts that you may or may not know in, in Capture One that can make your life really easy, right? We're going to try and do this under 10 minutes. Let's jump right into Capture One and, and see how it goes, okay? So um, now the first one is auto adjust, right? So I'm going to reset this image now. And you know, if you're editing event pictures, it can be a lot and you just want to quickly do like an auto adjust. Um, you can just click here and do auto adjust, but the shortcut to do that is press command L. And what command L does is that it uses the, the brains of your capture one to try and decide how best um, the image should look. So Command L does that. So I'll just Command Z again and Command L. That looks really good. Now, if you want to adjust what um, your auto adjust does, you can come here and give it, okay, don't touch white balance, touch on the exposure. You know, you can customize it to your taste. Okay, so that's auto adjust. Now, number two is um, copy and paste, right? So um, I'm going to put two images beside each other right here and one is edited one is not edited right so this one has added saturation or whatever let me just reset this and we can increase saturation and maybe let's just push the whites up a bit okay so we've edited this one now if you have a series of images that are very similar you might want to um, do the same global edit to them so the shortcut for this is shift command c right so shift command and c and then you go to the next image and shift command V and then that just paste the exact same edits to the next picture. So that can save you a ton of time. If, you know, you don't have to start trying to edit the second picture all from scratch. Um, another way to do this is to click on the picture and do copy here and then come down here and do um, apply here as well. So that works as well. Now this next step or the next shortcut I'll teach you is um, how to compare images properly, right? So if I want to compare two images, right? I can just click hold command and click the two images. Now the problem with this or the problem I had faced before I found out about this was when you zoom into one, um, you don't necessarily zoom into the other one. And if you zoom into the other one, you might have like um, differences in the size or the amount of percentage that you have zoomed in. So also when you drag one around, it doesn't really drag the other one around. So um, to solve this quickly, so um, click both, right? Hold shift and then zoom. If you hold shift and zoom, right? You see that it zooms exactly the same way. Also, if we move to the hand tool by pressing H, you can move both of them together, right? So you can compare exactly what each of them look like. I don't know if that makes sense. I found that really helpful, All right? So just shift, hold shift while you do any action really. Okay. Um, now the next tool I'm going to talk about is how do you zoom completely out? So you're working on an image and you're zoomed in, right? To zoom completely out is very simple. Just one button, press the comma, comma key on your keyboard and it zooms completely out just like that. So um, yeah, quickly. All right. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is um, some keyboard shortcuts, right? So uh, if you go to edit and you go to um, edit keyboard shortcuts All right now edit speed keys now speed keys here is key so this is this shortcut is called speed keys this when i found this out this kind of really blew my mind right so um i just explained that quickly so say i'm about to edit this picture and i want to increase saturation uh, you know i would come here increase saturation and you know if i was unlucky and i was not in the colors tab or maybe i was someone here i'll have to click this first I'll come and increase saturation like that now the shortcut here is there is a key on your keyboard that is assigned to um you know most of the major functions for editing right here so um, because i know this r is for saturation so if i hold r what happens is that you can see at the bottom of my screen here saturation just pops up and it doesn't matter what tab i'm in even if i'm in the library tab once i hold r see saturation pops up now the next thing is that I don't necessarily have to come down here to pull the saturation tab. No, 
I can pull it from anywhere as long as I'm holding down R. So if I'm holding down R, you can just pull to the right and you can see that your saturation is increasing now. I see I'm pulling from the middle of the image here. It doesn't matter where I'm pulling and you can just increase it here like so or reduce it. The other advantage this gives you is that, you know, it gives very, very fine adjustments. Like it increases it very, very little by little, and, you know, so you can make very, very fine tune adjustments to your, to your files. You can learn what the other ones are as well, like holding on one and one is for your, your white balance Kelvin and two is for your tint, right? Um, Q is for exposure back and forth. A is for highlights. You know so just learn what they are and they're customizable too so you can change them uh you can go into edit edit keyboard shortcuts and you can see that okay highlights is a so they kind of make it really um straightforward for for you to learn so um for example um highlights shadows um white and black are a s d f okay so that makes sense exposure contrast brightness and saturation are q w e r Right, so they, they, they arrange it for you so you can just memorize what letter does what and then you're good to go. All right, so the next um, shortcut that I'm going to try to explain to you is the magic brush. It's not really a shortcut per se. Well, it makes you work faster, so it's a shortcut. Now, if you press the B for your brush and you click here, you can come here and click the magic brush instead of the normal draw mask, okay? So you click the magic brush and then you have this new brush here, right? So we're going to press M so that when we brush, we can see what the mask is like. Now, I want to try and see if I could just select just the sky in this image. And I'm just going to prick, press this like this. And you can see that the magic brush instantly knows or has a great idea of what I want to select. So it, it's, it's done a decent job so far. And I can just add to that selection by clicking other places like this, like this, like this, like so, like so. Wow. So this is like pretty amazing already. This is like Photoshop-esque kind of selection. And the next thing we can do is we can then decide to erase this one. This um, ones are creep into the picture a little bit. And you can do that either with your magic eraser as well. So you can go to the eraser and make sure you select magic eraser. And you can adjust the tolerance and all of that and just erase, oops or just use your normal eraser i think that's safer use your normal eraser and you can just get rid of you know depending on the image you're working on on and how um if there's an excess if there's a distinct color difference between something and something it makes it easier or harder for the magic box to wash but for the magic box to wash but uh magic brush to wash <laughs> for the magic bro brush to work <laughs> okay yeah so um what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, the last um, shortcut I'll talk about is how you export different recipes at the same time, right? So exporting recipes can help you to export something for proof, something for print, and something for say social media all at once. So you right click and say export, right? Click export, and then right here you see export recipes. Now what these are are predefined settings that have different kind of characteristics. So um, there is this for web use that is always, you know, lower in size. You can um, export a full size JPEG. You can export a TIFF file. You can export for Instagram and you can change, you know, the formats and sizes of all these exports right here. Now, the good thing is that um, you can export multiple of these at the same time, right? So um, just make sure that they are all exporting to the same um, folder. So in this case, I'm just going to keep make sure they're exporting to my desktop and the subfolder named um, exports let's just say exports x and we're going to do the same thing for this one as well and we're going to make sure we're putting it in the same folder and this as well just make sure that it's in the same folder choose desktop and put some same folder out here. So we have three different recipes and you export one image. And once that is done, we're just going to check quickly and check desktop. Look for export X and you should see three different files. 
that have very, very distinct and different qualities. So this one, the first one you can see is 308 kilobytes. Um, this is 2.1 MB and this is 8.4 MB. So you can export multiple files at the same time with different um, recipes. Okay, so uh, I think that is pretty much all we're going to talk about today. Um, let me know in the comment section before below which of these shortcuts did you know before? Which of them did you just find out about? Are they really helpful to you? Are they nice? Do they help you use Capture One better? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, by the way, if you are not subscribed, please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, we need <laughs> we need the likes so YouTube can recommend our channel to more people. We're monetized now, but we're still trying to get the channel up up and running okay we also have a podcast that's coming up i, I talked about that in my last video i can't wait to get that started as well so uh yep yeah. thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one bye